Okay, so we're going to try, I'm going to try to make a tree topper bow, and I'm using three ribbons, so I'm going to use two, two and a half, and one, one and a half. So I put the one and a half in the middle, and then I have the two, two and a halves uh, on the outside, or one on the inside, the top, and one on the outside. Okay, um, so for the tails, you guys, if you're doing like, Again, a six and a half to seven foot tree. I would suggest you do nine inch tails if you want them to go all the way down. Um, and you would go ahead and cut that down first and then just add it on after. It's a lot easier. So I'm going to attempt to do the um, tree topper bow with the three ribbons on the easy bow. Now, I don't usually make tree topper bows, uh, and especially on the easy bow. I always mm -hmm. use the pro bow. It's just a lot easier because there's just so much ribbon and it gets thick. But I measured how I did it on the Pro Bow. So let's hope this looks nice. So I'm just going to put this down in here. I'm going to leave about a two to three inch piece right there. I'm going to push this down and we're going to twist. Remember, every time you're putting ribbon in these pegs, you're twisting. So I'm going to twist my ribbon. I'm trying to keep these lined up. It's such a pain in the butt. All right. Kayla's down here making a gingerbread house. And, um, let's see. I don't like really big loops, and I know they're big loops on here. So, we are going to start out with, let's say, let's do seven and a half. I just can't go to the eight. <laughs> I just don't like big loops. So, again, you could do eight. I'm going to do seven and a half. We're going to go a half size down each time. Well, I don't want to confuse you. Just do seven and a half. So I'm going to put that down. Twist. Twist it. Come back up. So, again, seven and a half. Just use your guide down here. You're measuring thing and a little bit right there. Okay, so push that down and twist. And now I'm going to come in. I just feel like there's more loops on the probe. I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah. All right. We'll find out when I'm done. So I'm going to now go a half an inch smaller. So now I'm going to do a seven inch loop. So I'm just going to bring it back. Go a half an inch smaller. So I'm going to go seven inches. Let's move that one out. Push it down. Twist. I don't know how people make these in their hand. It's crazy. I can't even make a little simple two ribbon bow. <laughs> Yet a huge tree topper. Okay. So now we're going to do seven inches. So we're just doing one loop on each side. This is seven inches. Push it down. Twist. Now we're going to do a six and a half inch loop. Come on, ribbon. Get under there. It's a lot easier to throw this ribbon on the floor. I got it on a spool holder. Or a ribbon. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you know, those. <laughs> Alright. 
So we did seven. Now we're going to do six and a half. So that's seven. So I could have went up. Yeah. All right. So let's do six and a half. Twist. Six and a half on this side. Those are tight. this over so you can see your guide. That's six and a half. Okay, just move that side. Did. Okay. Twist. Come in and do six. Trying to get that middle one to stay in the middle. It keeps wanting to pop out. Stop that. Hold on. Okay. Let's do. Did I say six? Six inch twist. Make sure that your twists are, are nice because it really does help your loops look better. And did I do six over here? Wait, seven and a half, seven, six and a half, six. Okay. I'm getting confused. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to do um, that was six. Let's do five and a half. Oh my god, I'm almost out of one. I didn't realize that. Oh my god, if I don't have enough to finish this, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> oh, please don't do that. My freaking wire broke on the last one. And this one, we might run out of ribbon. Yay, me. <laughs> Let's pray. Pray with me. scared. What are we on? Five and a half. Twist. Now we're going to do a five inch. We got one, two, three, four, five. We're going to do a five inch. inch smaller than the previous loop. Put that down. Twist. Do a five inch right here. Now, if you wanted to add a single loop right here, you could, I believe. <laughs> um, I'm going to, I might add it at the end or I might not. We'll see how the bow looks, but I'm going to cut this now because I do have a little piece left that I could do the single loop 
with, I'm going to cut this now because we have six on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six loops on each side with three ribbons. Just cut that off. My wire breaks this time. I did cut down two wires because the last one broke. Because I'm so strong, I broke it. I always break the wire. All right, so I'm going to just push this down. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. I'm going to put it right here between my hands so that stays straight. I'm going to get my wire. Get that right in there. Pull this even. Pull it as tight as I can pull this. That thicker wire is just hard to twist. I can see right there that that's moved. I'm going to push that over. Okay, again, I'm going to go as tight as I can get it. Twist your bow, not your wire. Twist the bow. It makes it tighter. I just don't feel like I can get that tight enough. I think that's why I broke it, too. I twisted too many times. Pop the wire. Make sure your stack is nice and straight. See one more time if I got any gap. I do still have a gap. So I'm going to try to hold that wire. It's just hard to grab it. Let me grab this. Just pull it up for a twist. Alright, I'm going to separate that. I'm going to add another wire because when I fluff, I don't want it to break. Because I kind of hold it up on the last one. Let's just move that over for a second. It broke right at the end. Oh, my stack looks messed up on that side. Alright, well, let's try fluffing it. So I'm going to set it down in my fluff box. All this is is a little screw hook and a little nail. So if you guys don't have one of these, you could use a butcher block, a piece of wood. You can even use your pro bow um, to make one. My screw is like wicked messed up. I need to put a new one in there. All right, so let's start fluffing. And I'm going to cut this little piece down more. Just go ahead and get it as short as you want. Hopefully that's not too short and I pop out when I pull on it. With my luck, it will be. All right. So I'm going to start fluffing. So we're going to start from the bottom. I'm going to open. I'm going to pull one one way. And the other the other way. And the middle one, the little one in half. Put right here in the center. Fix these at the wire so they're nice and straight loops. Right, go ahead and twist them. This one's a little crooked. All right, and then so I have this pattern on this side with the checkered over here. So now I'm going to pull the checkered on that side. I'm just going to keep alternating the two. And I think I'm just going to keep leaving the one and a half in the middle. And then when I start fluffing, I can switch it. Oh, 
Oh shoot, I just ripped that ribbon. This is thick. How did that rip? <laughs> That's a thick ribbon. I think it's been sitting around too long. <laughs> wow, it did. I just ripped it. That's what happened with that wire. I was like, whoo! All right. So one, two, one, two, four. Okay. I'm just getting them over here. All right, let's do the opposite now. Yes. You know, don't be afraid to like twist and turn these to get these loops where you want them. Hello, kitty. What are you doing? Are you going to come mess with my bow? She's fine. She likes to hang out. When I opened the door earlier, um, I said, oh, Kitty's right at the top of the stairs. And, but when she looked up at me and then ran down the stairs, Michael's, let me see. I know she's gone. She took off. <laughs> Yeah. And then as soon as he came to light, she was sitting on the counter and like snatched her up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so put this one in the middle. Alright, so we did this one side. Now we're just gonna turn it around, fluff the other. Alright, so I have that checkered over there, so I'm going to put the checkered on this side. I'm trying not to pull too tight because I don't want to break my wire again. I mean, I am incredibly strong. It's a true story. You guys, do you see her? <laughs> She's so cute. I love her. I told Mike um, earlier, because I said something like, yeah, I had Kitty out all day. He's like, you let her out all day? I said, yeah, Mike. She just don't want her to stay in that room. I go, eventually she's going to be our cat. No, she's not. Okay. Well, we're trying to give her to me forever. That no, cat won't even ever come out. She She'd probably die of sadness if you did that. No, she's not. Yeah, she would. She sees me and runs. <laughs> well, I don't see her enough for her to warm up to me. It's a problem. No, I don't want her. She's your cat. I don't want social butterfly over here. That's my cat too, Mike. She does love you. As soon as Kayla, if Kayla's, well, my daughter works a lot, and then she's got girls, Cub Scouts, or what's it called? Girl Scouts. Girl Scouts. Um, <laughs> and, you know, she works doubles on the weekend, so 
uh, when she comes home or she's gone too long, like yesterday she went to her friend's house making cookies, Christmas cookies. So she was gone until like one in the morning and her cat had a sick, was sick of it by nine at night. She was like, you could hear her meow and crying for her. I felt so bad. Okay, let's like, go play with her. No, it was like 11 last night. She's like, go play with her. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, when she hears you, she starts crying for you. He's so cute. Okay, so we're just gonna do this one. All right, now fluff, 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 fluff. Yay, I did a bow on, I'm glad one of you, I forgot who asked me to do it, or if I had a tutorial, and I know I've been meaning to get more bows up, so I'm glad you asked me, because it made me do it. <laughs> and if there's a, a certain bow that you guys want to see, because like I said, I just do bow tutorials, I just really wing them on the easy bow, you don't really need to watch a video, um, so if there's like a certain bowl that you want to see me do, uh, just let me know. So I'll go watch that video to learn how to do it. I feel like I pulled this one. I did. That one's too long. I gotta pull it on the. Uh, I must have pulled it on the other side. This one's a pain to write. Let's fix that. So I could fluff forever. Forever. I want one of these over here. I'll put some of those over on this side now. Which one did I do with the one right here? some of that red. Perfect. So you just got to keep fluffing and playing with the loops, putting them where you want them till you're happy with it. But honestly, you could just sit here forever and fluff <laughs> and keep switching it. Let's do. Oh, they're used to it with me. <laughs> they're used to that with me. Okay, let's pull that a little. <laughs> that ribbon should not be ripping. I'm trying. I'm not. I'm not pulling hard. This one needs to come over. All right, I'm just gonna stop because I could just, like I said, fluff forever. But that is with three ribbons on the easy bow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to hold it up real quick and remove it to the other side. Like I said, you got to just keep playing with these.
so you're happy with it. I want some of these broke up now, so I'm going to pull these over. Get some of these loops around the other side. There we go. Said you could just keep fluffing forever. Forever and ever. I'm afraid to pull on this. Don't rip. Alright, anyways, I'm gonna stop because I'm gonna keep doing it. Let me pick it up right there. I don't like that. Got to keep playing with it, fluffing it around. I think it came out pretty good. It's big. I'll get a picture up and post it in the loft. Really get up play with these more. And I'm going to stop. Alright guys, I just wanted to show you. It's very pretty. I'll take a picture and I'll post it. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'm going to get a couple videos of some smaller bows. Uh, someone asked me to do that. And I'm not really going to look up any tutorials. I'm just going to make some small bows. Alright. Bye.